Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a dove. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, this large one, the size is 11cm wide by 11cm or 4 and a quarter inches high by 4 and a quarter inches. The medium dove crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook is 7 centimetres wide by 8 centimetres or 2 and 3 quarter inches wide by 3 inches. This small dove crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1 millimetre hook is 5 and a half centimetres wide by 6 and a half centimetres or 2 inches wide by 2 and a half inches. I'll be using Katona cotton so the size will be between the medium and the large dove. I've also added some of the small doves to this towel. I'll be using Katona cotton. I've got 106 Snow White for the body and 238 Powder Pink for the beak. I've got a 2.5mm crochet hook, scissors, sewing thread and a needle to embroider on the eye and a darning needle to weave in the ends. Now we're starting on the top of the head and working down the body and then we'll do the neatening row and the tail. I've got my 106, the Snow White, and we start with 3 chain. We miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each of the two remaining chain. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet we put our hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through both loops. And we need a single crochet into the last stitch as well. For row two, we start with one chain and turn our work and we're going to work three single crochet into the first stitch. We miss the last stitch. For row three we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the three stitches. For row four we start with two chain and turn. We'll work one half double crochet into the first stitch. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop and then yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through the three loops. Then we work one single crochet into the middle stitch and one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 5 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each of the 3 stitches. For row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn we work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row seven we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the four stitches.
For row 8 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 2 single crochet into the first stitch, 1 single crochet into each of the next 2 stitches and 1 half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 9 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each of the 5 stitches. For row 10 we start with 1 chain and turn we work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches and one half double crochet into each of the last two stitches. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn we're going to work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches or that's sometimes called a decreased single crochet. We put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. There's three loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And then we work one single crochet into each of the last three stitches. For row 12 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the four stitches. For row 13 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 14 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 15 we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet into the last stitch. And that's the body done except for the neatening row. For the neatening row we're going to work one slip stitch in each stitch round the body to the beginning of the last row. For a slip stitch we put the hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. Now we need to make sure we're working a slip stitch in each stitch up to the head because we'll need those stitches to work the two wings onto. So just make sure that you've got 15 slip stitches. It can be easier to use a finer hook for your neatening rows if you're having trouble.
Now I've worked my slip stitch in each stitch around to the beginning of row 15. We'll start on the tail now. We start with 6 chain Miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the next two chain. And then one slip stitch into each remaining chain. We want our tail to be a bit wider near the ends and thinner near the body and then we slip stitch into the first stitch of row 15 and then turn our work and we work one slip stitch into each of the first four stitches along the first tail piece. and then work 3 chain We miss the first chain and work 1 single crochet in each of the 2 remaining chain and then spin the body around and work 1 single crochet in the first stitch on the tail piece and then one slip stitch into each of the last three stitches down the tail and then we slip stitch into the first stitch of row 15 again and that's two of the tail pieces done we turn our work and we work one slip stitch into each of the first four stitches and then work three chain. We miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each of the two remaining chain and one single crochet into the first stitch of the last tail piece and one slip stitch into each remaining stitch down the tail piece and then slip stitch into the first stitch of row 15 again and turn our work and work one slip stitch into each of the first four stitches and work 3 chain. We miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the two remaining chain and then one single crochet into the first stitch of the tail piece and one slip stitch into each stitch down the tail piece
and then slip stitch into the last stitch of row 15 and we turn our work and work one slip stitch into each of the first four stitches and work three chain. We miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each of the two remaining chain. And then one single crochet in the first stitch of the tail piece. And then one slip stitch into each stitch down the side of the tail piece and slip stitch into the last stitch of row 15 and fasten off. And that's the body and the tail done. I'll weave in these ends and I'll be back and we'll work the larger wing. Now for the near wing, which is this large one, we join about halfway between where the tail starts and the top of the head. Now I like to decide where the smaller wing's going to start. I start just after the head, so it will be this stitch here, and that's four stitches. So I miss those stitches and join in the next one. So that's about halfway. And we start with 19 chain. For row 1 we miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next two chain. And then one single crochet into each remaining chain. There should be 16 single crochet. Then we're going to slip stitch into the wrong side in the next stitch down towards the tail and then slip stitch into the following stitch 
and turn our work. For row 2, we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. And then one single crochet into each of the next five stitches. Two single crochet into the following stitch then one single crochet into each of the next six stitches and slip stitch into the following stitch and then work 3 chain For row 3 we miss the first chain and work 1 slip stitch into each of the last 2 chain and then one single crochet into each of the first seven stitches down the wing piece. Two single crochet into each of the following two stitches and then one single crochet into each of the next six stitches. and slip stitch into each of the next two stitches on the body. And turn our work. For row 4 we work one single crochet into each of the first seven stitches. Two single crochet into each of the next two stitches then one single crochet into each of the following six stitches Slip stitch into the next stitch and work 3 chain.
For row 5 we miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the last two chain. This one's going to be a bit thicker than the other two. And then we work one single crochet into each of the first eight stitches down the side. Two single crochet into the next stitch, one single crochet into the following stitch, two single crochet into the next stitch and then one single crochet into each of the remaining stitches down the wing. and slip stitch into the next stitch on the body and that's the wing until our last part with the frilly bit on. For row 6 we start with 3 chain. We miss the first chain and work 1 single crochet in each of the last 2 chain. And then we spin our work around and we'll work a joint slip stitch over the next two stitches of row 5. So we put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and take it straight through the two loops on the hook. And then we work three chain. We miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each of the two remaining chain and work a joined slip stitch over the next two stitches. And we need five little wing parts the same as that, so three chain Miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each of the next two chain. And work a joined slip stitch over the next two stitches on row 5. And repeat that 3 chain. Miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the last two chain and work a joined slip stitch over the next two stitches and we need one more three chain miss the first chain and work a join um, one single crochet in each of the last two chain and a join slip stitch over the next two stitches now I'm up to the bend of the wing the next feather pieces are a little bit wider we need four of them we start with four chain we work one half double crochet in the second chain from the hook and then one single crochet in each of the 
last two chain. And work a joined slip stitch over the next two stitches. And then we work another wing part the same, four chain. One half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. And one single crochet into each of the last two chain. And a join slip stitch over the next two stitches of row 15. And then four chain, one half double crochet in the second chain from the hook, and one single crochet into each of the last two chain. and a joined slip stitch over the next two stitches and we need one more four chain one half double crochet in the second chain from the hook and one single crochet in each of the last two chain and a joined slip stitch in the next two stitches. And then we work three chain. We miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each of the last two chain. And then slip stitch into the next stitch of row 15 and then one more three chain. Miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each of the last two chain. And then slip stitch in that last stitch and fasten off. And that's the near wing done. I'll weave in those ends and I'll be back to work the far wing. Now for the far wing we join four stitches up from the beginning of our first wing. So it will be this stitch here. And we start with eight chain. For row one, we work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. One half double crochet into each of the next three chain. and one single crochet into each of the last three chain. And then spin the work around and work one slip stitch into each of the next two stitches on the body. and then turn your work. For row two, we work two single crochet in the first stitch.
and one single crochet into each of the next four stitches on the side of the wing. Slip stitch into the next stitch and work two chain. For row three we work two, um, one single crochet in the second chain from the hook and then one single crochet into each of the next seven stitches on the wing side. Then slip stitch in the next stitch on the body and the first stitch on the side of the wing. For row four we start with four chain. We miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each remaining chain. and work a joined slip stitch over the next two stitches of row three and then work three chain. We miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each of the last two chain and work a joined slip stitch over the next two stitches of row three and then work three chain. We miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each of the two remaining chain and work a joined slip stitch over the next two stitches and then work two chain, work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook and slip stitch in the next stitch of the wing. It's at the bottom of the, the second little wing part. And that's the bird with the two wings done. Now for the beak I've got my 238 the powder pink and we join just at the bottom of the head there. And work one chain and one single crochet in the same stitch as the join and then we fasten off. And that's the bird done except for the weaving in the ends and the eye. So I'll weave in these ends and I'll be back and we'll finish it off. So there's the bird. All we've got to do to make it up is embroider on a small black eye. You could use a black bead if you prefer. So I'll do that and I'll be back and tell you the size. There's the finished dove. The size is 10 centimetres square or 4 inches square. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. 
I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.